Hello everyone, I'm Natalie and welcome back to my astrology channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Saturn. Everyone hates Saturn because Saturn is the planet of lessons, of karma, of trials. Saturn is the second generational planet. Jupiter was the first. And Saturn goes by every two years, so I like to think of Saturn as really the most generation planet. Everyone around your age will have the same Saturn, and it kind of shows what the lessons are that each generation needs to learn. And Saturn is really hard. Saturn brings only difficulties in an area of your life. Whatever sign it is in, you are going to experience the most difficulties in that sign. Whatever house it's in, you're going to experience the most difficulties in that house, in that area of your life. Saturn rules Capricorn, and this is why Capricorns know this. Their, their whole life is just lessons and challenges that they have to overcome. So Saturn makes people feel shitty. <laughs> It likes to kick you down. Saturn is a father figure. Saturn is like the father that is restricting you, not letting you have your freedom, not letting you be able to do what you want to do and express yourself in the ways that you want to express. All it does is just bring restrictions. So say you have Saturn and Aries. These people are what, they 19, 18, 19? Saturn and Aries might feel like they have problems being independent, being apart from everyone, being believing in themselves because Aries is number one. They have a problem believing that they are number one. They have a problem with feeling like they can assert themselves. Say you have Saturn and Taurus. Taurus is money, it's value, it's materialism. The Saturn and Taurus generation are learning how to let go of that sense of material stability, where they feel like they need stability in material objects or money. They need to find value within themselves. That's the ultimate lesson of Taurus. So basically, wherever Saturn is, whatever sign that it's in, you have to learn the lessons of that sign. It's not going to be easy. But Saturn wants to make your life very challenging and difficult in one area of your life so that you can master that area. It's hard at first, but they say as you get older and even after your second Saturn return, you'll be okay because you'll be able to learn what Saturn is trying to teach you. It's trying to make you the best at something. And you can find what that is by looking at the sign, looking at the house that it's in. Say Saturn is in your third house, the Gemini house. Saturn in the third house can put like restrictions on your learning and your communication. You might feel like you don't pick up on information quickly. Maybe when you were little people looked at you and they thought that you were behind other people, but really it's just Saturn just slows your mind down. It sucks. <laughs> but Saturn ultimately will bring the most growth to us. We just have to let it do what it does because if we don't, Saturn will rip things away from you and it'll be even more painful. You can't close yourself off to Saturn. Even if you try to rebel against the restrictions, it's just gonna make it more challenging for you. Everyone has a Saturn return, which is when Saturn goes back into the sign that it was in when you were born. And it normally happens when people are about 27 years of age. So when this happens, it's kind of a period of your life for about two years, you will experience lots of turmoil because Saturn will be hitting you the hardest it has ever hit you with the lessons that you need to learn. And if you're 27 and you think you can 
get it all figured out, Saturn's gonna surprise you. It's gonna take things away from you and you're not gonna like it. You just have to surrender to Saturn to let it do what it's supposed to do. It'll be easier. It sucks and it's hard and a lot of times people when they have their Saturn return, 27, 28, 29 years old, they get depressed. You can feel really low. That can be a really low time in your life. But it's going to bring the most rewards because Saturn will make you the best. Saturn rules Capricorn and Capricorns just want to succeed. So Saturn just wants you to succeed wherever it is challenging you. It's so that you can be successful in that area so that you can manage it in a proper way, in a healthy way. So that's Saturn in astrology. Thank you for watching.